Hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth. My pronouns are she, her. Welcome to my floss tube channel. This is Savory Sewing. You can also find me on Instagram at Savory Sewing. My floss tube channel is a YouTube channel where folks talk about their cross stitch, what they're stitching, what they want to stitch, what they're buying to support their stitchy habit, all of those things. Welcome. Today is Sunday, December 1st, 2024, and this is floss tube number 37. <sighs> We've made it to December, folks. There's only 30 days left in 2024. It's absolutely insane. I have a medium amount of stitching, I think, to show you today. I've got some FFOs, I've got a couple of finishes, some whips, all of that fun stuff. A tiny, tiny bit of haul. Uh, I managed to resist all of the Black Friday sales up until this point. Uh, and so the tiny bit of haul I have is just fabric of the month, but there is haul nonetheless. Uh, before we get started with the stitching, uh, a couple, f a bunch of folks, uh, two videos ago, voted on a fabric choice for Needle Heathen by Bendy Stitchy, this pattern. And everyone unanimously, well, at least unanimously, everyone who commented wanted French rose. So we are going to stitch this on French rose, but spoilers. I haven't started it yet. I did not start any of my planned new starts for November. I decided to focus on trying to finish things. And when I asked myself, would you rather start this or have this other thing finished? My, my, my thought was, is I'd rather have the other things finished. I can start these whenever I want. Um, and I still might. I just, uh, I have a couple, well, I've been almost finished. Something I was really trying to get finished. She's almost, she's almost there, but... Uh, so I did not start that or uh, the other piece that I had planned as part of my 24 and 2024. Uh, I think I have also been, re not reminiscing, that's the wrong word, but, you know, looking back at my optimistic 2024 hopes and dreams for my cross stitch and thinking about what I thought I could do and what was actually realistic. And I think 24 new starts, or at least planned new starts, uh, ended up not being a realistic goal. That's not to say I didn't have 61 new starts in 2024. They just weren't all the ones that I had planned. But anyway, uh, so there's that. And then two, um, I'm glad that, well, at least that some of you enjoyed the chip break. Uh, my partner was tickled to death. He, uh, there, I, I don't know if there will be a chip break in this video. I know he set aside a bag of chips, but also there's football going on in the other room. And so football often trumps, you know, all other life choices. So thank you very much for humoring him. He thinks he's a marketing genius and that chip break should be in every floss tube. I don't know. Maybe. Anyway. Oh, I also have a puppy who's napping at my floor and having a good... Having a good scratch. Hi, bud. You having a good scratch? Puppy break. All right. So let's get on now to the stitching because that's what you're presumably here for. Not, you know, my witty banner. Um, I had shown you in my last video. Also, it's peppermint mocha season. This is the only holiday beverage that I like. All the rest of them are yucky. Uh, but that one is delicious. Okay. So last video, I showed you two finishes. I had stitched up the two Jingle Ball ornaments from 2022 and 2023's Jingle Balls. These are the freebie patterns that you got if you attended the Jingle Ball and remember to download them before it ended. Uh, and I impulse stitched them and then I finished both of them. So here they are. Aren't they cute? So this is 2022. So uh, they're both stitched on the same fabric. They are on... It's uh, it's Lugana. It's Vintage Rose Lugana. Now I can't remember what number, what count it is. Uh, and mostly the called for. And all I did, these are four inch wooden hoops. I got at Joann's and I painted them red. So there is number one and number, tw number, number 22. Number, the one from 2023 just has a fun bow on it because I felt like that needed a bow. I believe in the finish and the pattern itself has a bow on it. Here they are together. Aren't they so cute? I'm hoping whatever the ornament is for this year fits in this color palette so I can have a nice little trio of Jingle Ball ornaments, but if it doesn't, that's okay. So those are my two FFOs and I'm gonna hang them up somewhere, probably in, in here, probably up behind me. Uh, ooh, 
because if I'm well I'm gonna go to the Jingle Ball but I will be attending the Jingle Ball from right here because this is where my camera and my computer live so those are my two FFOs very cute I think um, easy I like hoop I like hoop finishes for little things I did buy um, I don't know where they are but I bought some wooden rounds thinking maybe those will also make good finishing things for things I don't want to put in a hoop but I haven't tested that out yet anyway neither here nor there okay so here is my full finish uh, that I finished in the last two weeks this is scissors with flowers by tiny modernist I'll put the information here uh, this is one of my whip go calls uh, as a finish I think this was a 2021 or 2022 start so pretty a lot of backstitching goodness gracious a lot of backstitching this is frosty mint lugana from fiberlicious yummy fibers and it's somewhat mostly the called for DMC except I made some subs so it matched some other stuff that I'd already stitched but if it was pink it was pink and if it was green it was green just different shades I want to finish this I think in an oval hoop I just need to find an oval hoop that doesn't cost an arm and a leg um, or an oval frame but I'm not in a big hurry to fully finish this since I haven't found the right thing but it's gonna go probably live on the the wall over there with my other sewing themed finishes it's pretty so much backstitch all right my other uh, finish since I last saw you is a you know finish for now soon to be a, a finish forever because the last piece just dropped this is the 2024 stitch for pride uh, project from D's 20 excuse me D's 20 stitches and here's where we are as of the end of November. December's piece just dropped. I'll show you a picture in a minute. It goes right smack dab there in the middle. But this month's piece, November's piece, was this one down here in the bottom. Purple one. And the artist uh, was Molly Vaughn. I really liked that purple floss. Um, while I'm here, I can show you actually I can show you because it is December 1st and it has been released uh, I can show you the floss and and name the artist sometimes you can't do that but this is the floss um, it is a pink orangey tan situation and the author the author the artist's name is Robert Indiana and when I pop this image in here of the pattern you will instantly recognize who Robert Indiana is, I would bet. Very famous um, motif here. So I haven't done the learning yet, so more on him next month, next video, but uh, there we are. Isn't it great? I know Dee is getting ready to drop 2025, so I'm very excited to see what that's gonna look like. I really loved stitching this, and I think next year, I am not going to buy the floss, even though I do love the floss, because I really, really, well, I, I enjoyed the floss, don't get me wrong, the floss is amazing, and it was nice to not um, have to think about anything every month, but I think next year I'm going to pick my own colors, because there were such pretty versions, and I have so much floss, and I think that I would like to do that. How good is this, guys? I'm sorry, I know I've shown you now 80 times, but it's good, right? <laughs> All right, so that is my other finish, and one of my plans is to get that started and stitched. And I want to get that stitched ASAP because I have lots of other stuff to stitch this month, and I'd like to get that out of the way. Not in a bad way, but just I'd like to get it done. All right, excuse me for one second while I grab my whip pile. Um, All right, so I don't have too many whips, and some of them you've seen before. I that just that's how it played out some of them got a lot of days though which I thought was good so the first one this is a whip go call this is autumn flowers by Owl Forest Embroidery this needed to get three days this month because of its whip go call plus it had an outstanding day from I don't know September I think when it got called and I didn't finish I it got two days so it still isn't complete but um, I did work on it two days I actually made it Pulled it out on a Friday and actually participated in Owl, Owl Forest Friday for the first time, even though I've been intending to 
So here's where I am. I think what I did is I finished this flower. I worked and I worked on some of the flowers in this motif down here. Um, this is going to take me forever, but that's okay. Uh, this is Please Scream Inside Your Heart, uh, Ada from Mystic Fabrics, and it is being stitched with the Bloss Pack from Owl Forest. I believe I started this in like 2020. Hang on, I'm looking it up real quick. Started this in 2021. And I, um, May 3rd, 2021, this is all I've got done. <laughs> uh, before it was really difficult to get the floss packs. I think I bought this act, the floss actually in like 2020. So anyway, that needs two more days technically to hit its whip go goal for the year. I don't think it's getting it, but you never know. I might put two links of thread in on two different days just so I can check that box, but we'll see. All right, so the next one, I was really hoping to get this finished. However, I did not have the two DMCs that I needed, which I was kind of appalled about because I have a lot of DMC, but I'm working on Prince of Pies. This is from the Autumn Royalty Collection, um, collection because it's very fancy, uh, by Lindy Stitches, and there's these three adorable little birds. Um, I'd already stitched Lord of Gourds, and then I added on Prince of Pies, and then I'm going to stitch the third one, which is Count of Candy. And they're meant to be stitched individually. I added this border because I wanted them all three horizontally. Um, the third guy will go over here. Uh, this is also on Mystic Fabrics. This is Diversity, which is this pretty purpley gray. It's not reading very purple here, but it has a, just a hint of lavender in it. Uh, so he's almost done. I just need to fill in his face and then he needs some legs and then there's some like uh, confetti throughout his like bodies and wings. But oh and this pie I missed. But so I could have I, what I should have done and what I could still do is run to Joanne's and get those two DMC because if Joanne's Black Friday sale is still on DMC is 50 cents a skein. So um, I did go and I did buy a bunch but I did not buy these two colors. Whatever. So Anyway, I love these little guys. I think they're so cute. They were almost a finish. It wouldn't take me much to finish them, except, you know, the floss in my position. All right, on the 24th and the 25th, I was, I was starting to feel Christmassy. I know in my last video, I said I don't do Christmas stuff until, you know, after Thanksgiving. Um, the exception is cross-stitch, of course. And peppermint mochas. I've been drinking these since they, the day they dropped. But I really wanted to work on this pattern. Uh, this is Fourth Day of Christmas by Hello from Liz Matthews. This is the fourth in a 12 part series about the days of Christmas. I think, I'm not sure all 12 are out yet. I think we're close. I know 10 came out. I'm not sure about 11 and 12 yet. But uh, here's where I am. I actually got a bunch done. I worked on this on the 24th and the 25th and I finished this blue bird. Um, I started the top border and I started working on this pink and yellow bird and then moved the the brown across to where you can, um, that's the sign that says Joy of the World. There's a lot of stitching. This is on 40 Count Fog. I'm stitching all of them on 40 Count Fog with the called for DMC. And I have one, two, and three done. Very cute. I was hoping to get this one done this year. I think I finished number three this, that I finished two and three this year. I was hoping to get four done and that just didn't work out. Um, but no, no biggie. Okay. So this is the one last piece I'm going to show you that I actually spent a lot of time on, uh, in the last week or so. I think this has gotten five or six days this month and she's still not done. Uh, this is Moon Glow by Nora Corbett. I started this with Stephanie from Cross Stitch the Globe and Allie from Allie's, Allie's Ease Crafty about a year ago. We started this for Nora November last year. And I was really hoping to get the stitching done in November this year. At least by the end of the month. And I did not. But I still got a lot done. Here she is. Uh, since you last saw her, which was, I think, it would have been two weeks ago, I finished this green leafy situation. I added a bunch of the, there's a bunch of really light colored 
doodads. I'm not sure the back stitching was done on the body of the lady last video. And then I worked on her hair. I had to, oh, I would have had more done except I miscounted by half a stitch on her hair. And so I had to pull the top half of her hair. So I had to pull it all out and redo it. Um, but yeah, but she's, she's getting there. She's so pretty. This is a 28 count olive by hand dyed Rolanda and I'm stitching with all the called for threads, which are a combo of DMC and Karen water lilies. And I also have all the beads, so she will get beaded eventually. Um, I was hoping to get the stitching done. I, there was no chance she, I was going to get stitching and beading done, but we're getting there. I don't know if she'll come back out this year. I just have a lot of Christmas stitching and, and plans for December, but it'd be nice to get her stitched. But there's always Nora November next year, right? All right. So that's actually all of my stitching. Um, and when you only stitch on one thing, there's not a lot to, not a lot to show folks. So let's talk a little bit about plans and my tiny bit of haul. And that's all I got. It's going to be a short one. So haul this month was just two fabric of the months. I'm in the Be Stitch Me fabric of the month and the Thrin Fabrico fabric of the months, fabric of the month clubs. And I got two pieces of fabric. I'm stocking up on neutrals in 2024. So these are very neutral. This is the Forbidden Fabrico. It's called Fossil. It's really pretty. It's, I mean, it's gray. And then the Be Stitch Me is called Sand Dollar. It looks like a sand dollar. I am going to cancel my fabric of the month. I have too much fabric. I don't stitch fast enough for the fabric that I have. So I think we're going to take a pause in 2025 and try to use up some of my stuff. That's one of my goals is to use up some of my stuff and only buy fabric when I need it. That's a crazy statement, right? Uh, I'm going to buy whatever I want, whatever I want, but we're going to cancel those because I don't need them. All right. So let's see plans. What am I going to stitch in December? Well, I already showed you the stitch for pride. Very excited about that. I have two, I had two planned Christmas starts as part of my 24 and 24. And they are this one. This is called, uh, this is Christmas Rose by Blackbird Designs. I think this is so pretty. And then I'm going to stitch Arranging Ornaments by Ink Circles. Or at least those are the planned new starts. I've not been very successful in the last couple months with my planned new starts. But if I'm going to start anything, it's probably going to be one of those as a bigger piece. Uh, I'm going to try to stitch on each of my Christmas whips, which there's not that many of. Um, I just showed you Fourth Day Christmas. I also would like to work on Santa's Trips, maybe get another box done. So here's uh, Santa's Trips by Barbara Hanna. And let me see, I'm not, I am, I am close to, I, this one I'm close to being done, but also not close to being done on. Um, and I didn't iron this, but here's where I am. I'd like to get maybe one more box done. Um pretty right this is a uh, picture of this plus it's not steel it's silver fox I think 40 count all the called for DMC so I'd like to get a couple days on that maybe get another box done this is definitely going on whip go again next year so I can get it finished uh, this is also on my whip go this year and is very close to being finished it's just a lot of stitching left because it's kind of full coverage this is called Vintage Ladies. This is from a cross-stitch magazine. I'll, I'll make sure the name is here in the description box below. Um, and it's based on artwork that they converted to a cross-stitch. And so this is where I am. I have a lot done. I love these ladies. We'll see. This is a, a Lugana from Fiberlicious called Cherry Blossom and all the called for DMC, except I did change the skin tone of the lady in the red dress. So. That'll get a couple days of stitching. And then 
I have started um, one of the Doodles Christmas patterns, or one of the Doodles patterns, the Christmas one. So here's what it looks like. I think I can get this done. These are real quick. And I have a bunch done already. So here's where I am on that. These, this took me like a day, maybe a day and a half. So I think I could knock this one out. And then in the same bag here, I have another one of these little patterns. I like these little heart and hand ones. I love this little deer. I would really like to stitch this. So if I finish Doodles Christmas, I'm going to start Patchwork Deer. This was a maybe on my Christmas starts anyway. So if I start this one and don't get Christmas uh, rose or ranging ornaments started, I'll count this as one of my 24 and 24. And then I started Hibernation Day. I'll put a picture in here by Art String Samplery. I just miscounted and I think I need to restart it. So I need to decide if that's going to be a this year project or another year's project. I didn't get that much stitch that it's a, that I feel given. I don't feel bad about restarting it. Like I'm not like heartbroken. I didn't stitch that much. Plus it's huge and I'd rather restart it now and just be done with it than stitch more and then realize I hate it. Um, it's not a very big pattern when you stitch it on. I think I'm stitching it on 36 or 40 count. It's still long, but it's only like five inches wide. So those are those are all my Christmas whips. I always, every year for Christmas, stitch two ornaments, one for my partner and one for my niece. I think I mentioned last time, um, the one for my partner is probably gonna be uh, Chapel Roan themed. I just have to pick a pattern that I like. It's definitely gonna be Pink Pony Club, but which which one of the millions out there, I don't know. And I don't know, my niece is, is she eight? I don't know what she's into right now. So I gotta figure that out. Um, I know she's into, what's it called? It's a Disney show with all of the children of the Disney villains. So I was looking at potential ornaments around that cross stitch, but I couldn't find anything that was really cute. But anyway, y'all don't care. There will be two Christmas ornaments at least. Probably I will try to stitch some for myself. And then the other thing that I have, and this is what's going to take up probably the bulk of my stitching time, is this is not a, this is probably could be a spoiler, so just heads up. But I know it's already been released on the Evertote website, and I'm sure with all the Blossmas videos out there that you likely have already seen this. But if you haven't, heads up. Um, this is I purchased. This year's Roxy Floss Co. Evertote Modern Folk Embroidery Countdown Box for the third year in a row. So here is, it's called the Nordic Holiday Countdown 2024. So I haven't opened mine yet, so I'm going to open it with y'all here on the video today, and then I'm going to go start stitching. Um, so if you haven't seen it yet, and you don't want to be spoiled, spoilers, um, if you have, it's always fun to watch people open presents, right? <laughs> All right. So we came with this beautiful book, like it, oh, like you know, with a lovely note from Jacob, as they usually do, as they always have. Um, there's even a little freebie pattern on the back, which I won't show you. And then today's patterns are in, or pieces are in these boxes, and so they always come with the first day comes right with the fabric. So I'm going to just, yes, I'm just going to cut these and not rip. I should have, I could have pre-cut these so, just so it's a little less painful for everybody. Um, the fabric, I got 40 count and the colorway is called Glacier. So I'm going to guess it's going to be gray and it is, it's really pretty. It's like a beautiful light gray blue and it goes this way. I do know it's tall. So really pretty. Um, it's reading a little bit more blue than gray. Yeah, that's probably, that's pretty good. And then day one. I'm sure I can't show you the pattern because, or I won't be showing you the pattern. So, sorry, you won't be able to see that. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff in here. I was not expecting there to be so much stuff. Hold on. All right. Okay, so there is uh, a thread thingy, 
I like these. Actually, I think I got these you can buy on Amazon. Um, they're some of my favorites too. I'll show you the day one's thread while I put it on its little thread drop. This is called Suitable. It's a gorgeous red. And there you go, day one. I'll put it up against the fabric. Very pretty. And then there is a needle binder. These, I think, oh, do I still have last year's? Oh, last year's was living here, but it's not. I'm sure that's a motif that's going to be somewhere in the pattern if um, previous year's needle minders are any way to judge. There's also a pretty Christmas ornament. I wonder where last year's is. I should get last year's. 2024 Modern Folk Embroidery Roxy, Roxy Flasco Evertote ornament. And a little piece of ribbon to tie it. And there also are some size 28 John James needles, which is actually really nice. Excited, excited about that. I can always use more needles. Um, yeah, so I'm going to work on getting this started today. And sorry, I decided I was going to put this ribbon into this ornament off camera. All right, I'm going to put that down. Uh, I can't show you the pattern. <laughs> but it there's this beautiful card um, with the number of the day on it. And then at the bottom it says, It's day one of our holiday countdown. We hope you'll enjoy the ride this year. To kick things off, I prepared the first song for you today, which you can hear on the Modern Folk Embroidery YouTube channel. So J Jacob often um, records or sings or plays or writes a holiday song for us or has in the past and then on the back is the pattern you can there's like the full chart you know grid and then the piece of the pattern for today at the top so i will get that stitched i believe if you go watch um caroline's channel uh i think it's on her ever tote channel or it might be on off the grid new arts i actually don't quite remember probably it's on off the grid because the, between two whips i don't I think it's just her and Carrie. Uh, she will already have today's stitching stitched. So if you are not stitching it and you'd like to follow along um, in real time, she's posting the morning of the day of the release and she's stitching ahead of all of us. So that would be a good option for folks to live vicariously through someone else's stitching. Um, all right, that is all I have. I will see you in a couple weeks. Um, I do have some plans to do a finished parade video for 2024. Uh, sometime around probably the week between Christmas and New Year's or the weekend before Christmas, depending on you know how quickly I get all of my finishes organized and together. And then I will release a 2025 plans video. Um, sometime probably around New Year's Eve. Um, that's just the way the weekends roll. Um, including some thoughts about, did my 2024 plans work out the way I thought? Oh, and I forgot to do my November stitching recap. Hmm. Well, here's a photo of all of my <laughs> November finishes. And I, uh, cause I, that's done. I didn't do all the math yet. So if you want to find out what I actually got up into November, it'll probably be on my Instagram <laughs> later today. <laughs> oh, you can see that I had vacation the last four days because it was American Thanksgiving, so I haven't worked since Wednesday-ish, um, and I really just did nothing. And you can, and it shows. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, I am going to let you get back to what exciting things that you have as part of your days. And I will see you in a few weeks. Happy stitching. Cheers.